Today, I am going to do a little project that I've thought about over the years with this blue tote. Uh, I'm not crazy about the wheels that came on it originally, and I've seen some posts where people may have changed them out to a pneumatic air-filled tire. So, I bought a couple tires that are supposed to fit, and a couple washers and cotter pins for drilling the shaft. So I am going to try and make this work and film it for you. First thing I'm going to do is remove the handle um, from my blue tote and then I will work on getting one of those caps off the uh, end of the shaft to get the wheels loose. As you can see, there is a spacer bar, a piece of plastic here between the wheel to keep it out away from here. Then you can pull the shaft out and the other spacer bar. And we can leave this cap on here. And then if it ever comes off, then I'll have to drill it and put in a uh, cotter pin. Now one of the things I want to do is just put one of these on and see how it's going to fit. I bought these tires at TSC locally here. For, uh, I believe uh, about $11.99 each. We do have a air stem that will be able to uh, be pumped up to 30 psi and they're supposed to be able to handle 300 pounds. I bought washers for 5 8 inch to put on here. Whether or not it's needed, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Now, somebody I saw online said that I need to cut these in half. So we'll see if I have to do that. I'm just just trying to see how much space I'm going to have here. Yes, I will have to cut the spacers.
Okay, I'm back. I have cut one of the spacers in half and I'm gonna try to just use each of the half. And I've taken the one half side of the shaft and I have drilled a hole big enough for the cotter pin to go through. So let me try putting this together and see how it's gonna work. Right now I'm going to leave this other cap on, but if I need to, I can pop it off and drill a hole in that also, because I have two cotter keys. I'm going to leave the spacer washer off for now in here, because with the cap I don't believe I need it. We'll have to see the other side with the cotter pin. I may want a washer. put half the spacer on that was on before. The other half of the spacer on this side. Slide on our tire. And I do have room for the big washer with the 5 eighths eighth inch though it looks like I need to take up some more space in here because there's a lot of slack back and forth my other option is to see if I want to reuse this cap That'll work. I do have a little bit of slack in the shaft that I may want to take up but to do that. I'm going to need to buy a couple more washers. Here's what it looks like compared to these tires here. And I need to pump them up with air. I know that. So So the whole purpose of changing out these tires is to put something on there that will be more stable, longer lasting, and is not gonna have a tendency to break off if I'm driving down a paved road loaded up with liquids inside this tank, which is hundreds of pounds attached to the back of my truck. So hopefully, if anybody else has a blue tank and you have those cheap original wheels, you might think about doing this changeover. It's fairly quick and easy. I noticed that most of the new tanks that you buy out there on the market already have these type of wheels on them, so they must have found over time that they were creating a problem. So hopefully this helps you if you have a blue tank. Hopefully this helps you if you have a blue tank and that this is an easy upgrade 
if you uh, stay in camp campgrounds where you don't have sewer hookup and you have to go and dump your tanks occasionally.